Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and today I want to show you Wave.video, which is on a lifetime deal right now. You get a combo of three for a single price. That means you get Wave.video, which is the video editor. You get Wave Hosting, which lets you create landing pages with a video, with description, and a call to action, which is pretty cool because you share a link and they go to that page. And you get Animatron to create animated videos. Now, I know you're probably thinking, you know what? I have other deals that have video editors. And I understand you because I also have other video editors. And I still got Wave Video. And one of the things I look for when, when I purchase a video editor is the capacity to edit videos. I mean, is it really complex? Is it good or not? And the other part that I look for is the templates. For me, the templates are the basic part right here of the most important reason I got Wave.video. They save me time. I don't want to waste time creating templates because some of my customers don't pay enough to create a custom template. So I use these and it makes my life easier. So it could be a couple of reasons why you decide to get this or not. So in this video, I recommend that you check it out, see what it includes. Price is pretty fantastic, and let's see if it's actually something that you might need so you can take it to consider to buy it. Now, that link will be in the description. If you guys would like to support me, that gives you a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. So let's jump over to the platform and check it out and decide if it's good or not. All right, guys, this is the deal I was talking about. And like I said before, it's a three for one combo. So you're getting all three of these for the price of one. So you're getting Wave Video Editor, Wave Video Hosting, and an Animatron Studio for $59. Now, let me show you what that gets you. Remember, this is a lifetime deal. You pay once, use it forever. So the $59 deal, what it does, it ties you to their plans. So this way, you know what you're going to get. So for example, the $59 deal on Animatron, it's going to be stuck on the Studio Pro plan. And the Wave Video is going to be on the Creator plan. And if you jump to the $180 deal, which is what I got, you jump to the business plan. Now, the way you're going to see what you get, you jump into Wave Video, Pricing, and you're going to see this. So remember, $59 deal is in the creator plan, and the $180 is on the business plan. So you get all this. It's a whole lot. That's why I chose it, and I think it's way better. It doesn't mean you're going to pay monthly. It's a lifetime deal. Remember, pay once, use forever. Okay. So let's jump into my Wave Video Dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a template so I show you what you can expect, right? The reason I got Wave Video is because of their templates. On the side of the editor, I think it's, I don't know, I don't like it, right? And I'll show you the things that I don't like and you'll see them right now. So it's not as powerful if you want to use it as an editor. Just that, that that's to make it clear. But the templates are good. So right now, what you get when you select templates, you choose any template that you like right here. If you hover over it, you're going to see how it's going to animate. Just kind of select what you like, what you would like to use and select it so you can edit that one or you can create one from scratch. Now you can choose by use case if you want to filter these by industry, by holiday and the way of the format, right? So for example, horizontal, which is what I would use for YouTube. It's a 16 by nine and you see what type of social media accounts um, would be good for, right? So Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. You want to use square, it's good for Instagram. You want to use vertical, well, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you want to use a story type for Facebook and Instagram, this is the uh, nine by 16, it's the other way around. So it's vertical, right? And you got the Facebook cover if you want that, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the templates right here. One of the ones I like for this use case purpose is this one. So the food delivery one, I'll select that one. I'll edit this template and it's going to open up the editor. Um, like I said before, it's not like a full on editor like other video editors, but it works. OK, so on the left, you got the main menu. If you want to resize video, if you want to see the templates, add video images. Um, if you want to add your own images and videos, you do it right here. Or you can select from the free stock or, or you can select from the paid stock. Paid stock is not included. You have to pay for that. And on the bottom, we have the timeline. This is what I don't like, the way the timeline is built. I wish they had different layers to make it way easier instead of having it this way. And I'll show you um, why I'm telling you that. On the right, we have the editor. So anything that we click on is going to be editable on the right. So for example, if we want to change the image, that's going to be on the right. If we want to change the text color and all of that, it's going to be on the right. So for example, if I click on this timeline right here on the top, right? It's going to show me the editor for this. I can cut, I can move it, I can clone it and I can move it around. But for example, inside of this timeline, it's there's this text boxes. 
there's these stickers for example that little chat widget is a sticker and all that is tied in here let me show you what I'm talking about if I click right here it's the whole thing if I click on this little box it's right here see how it's in the same square of the timeline I can edit it here I can change the time I can delete it or keep it I can edit stuff here on the right if I click on this right here see how it works right here it's gonna be all there if I click let me go a little bit forward okay we got another box over here so this box starts at second and num number three now like I said before I wish it was like the other editors where you have the video you have the audio so right here the audio is separated but you have the audio the video then you have if there's a text box it's another layer on the top and if you have a third text box you have another layer and if you have another audio you have another layer and it makes it much easier and it sounds like it's more complex but it's actually easier because you see everything as the layers go along in this way you have to actually click on it so I can edit this layer so I could change the time of this box by clicking on the box if not if I click outside I'm gone I don't have I don't know what's going on there so maybe that's something they should be implementing on wave video but again, it works, you can use it. So if I click here, I can edit this background. For example, I can change it to red, black, but let's leave it white because that's how it should look. Um, if I click on this box, right now it's blue, but maybe the box should be, for example, green. Change that to green, maybe another color, black, where you want to change right there. It's super easy. Let me go back, let me undo. You can undo by clicking undo right here on the top or use command C or control C. And if you hit spacebar, it's gonna play this right here. So let me do that for you. I'm gonna click on the start and I'm gonna hit spacebar so I can play the video for you guys. Okay, so you can see there we have two sections and there was a transition at the, at the middle. So let me click on the transition again. All right, if I wanted to change that transition look, I would click on it and we have the options to change it. For example, it could be this one. It's gonna move, right? So let's try to test it out. Let's click play again. And the transition is different now. So it's, it's easy, right? You just click on it and you start working on it. Let me click right here. We got some more text. We can edit that text. On the right, we have fonts, we have sizings, we have styles. You can check styles right here if you like that. If you wanna use other styles right here, for example, like this, like that, there's pre-built right there you can manage your own brands to add your own that's included in the business plan you can use the text effect for example if you want to give it some movement to it you could select one of those we got the text blocks um, I'm not gonna make a tutorial video tutorial video on how to use wave video because it take forever I'm trying to show you the overview so you can decide if you want this or not okay so basically that's the timeline that's the editor let's go to the menu on the left like I said before we can resize the video if we need we can choose a different template if you don't like what you chose. We can add our own right here, so we got a library. So the library is based on the free stock right here. So if I say dogs, enter, we're gonna get dogs right here. And you can see there, there's no pricing on it because these are available for free, you can use those. We can add this, for example, we can hard it if we want. If we wanna use these, and these will be available in the favorites, it should be here. Let's wait for that to load. Okay, so here's the favorites. And let's go back to the library. I should have favored this one also. Oh, that's a $15 one. That's that's a paid one. You can see there I hover over it. And some are free and some are not. So if you remove these, it won't show you the paid ones. So if you use a free one, you have to pay for it when you render it. Okay? You got the purchase ones if you already purchased, and you got your uploads, so you can upload your own images or videos, you upload them there. Remember, we have the editor there, we have the layout. Right here, if you want to change this to apply it to the whole video, the background, if you want to change the background color. So if we resize something smaller than the video, the background is going to show and we can change that color right there. We got the overlay and stickers. So for example, those bubbles that you saw in the text are actually stickers. We can choose these right here. One of the ones I love is selecting Jiffy. So you can use GIFs right here. So if you hover over them, they actually move. So if I drag this guy in here, all right, if I drag them there, then I click on them, I make them bigger, too big, the sticker doesn't look that good, okay. And you can see the timeline, it added them right there. I can stretch it if I wanted to have them the whole video or just this section, and I'll click play. 
and it just replays that. Now, when you preview, it's not going to look as good. You can see there was a lot of pixelation on it, but that's because it's a preview. Once you render it, it's going to look okay, unless you make it too big. All right, so you got the overlay and stickers. There's a whole bunch of them. You can add your own logos. You can upload other images right here. You got watermarks if you want to add them. I haven't set any for the user preference. You can add your own music if you don't like what you got. Next thing we have is captions. So if you want them to read the captions, you can auto captions or you can upload your own subtitle to read those captions out. So that's available. And at the end, you can publish. So once we can select that, let's wait for that to give us the editor info so we can actually publish it. So you can render your video. 360p, 480p, 1080p, 1020p, and 1080p. They don't have 4K yet, but they say they will They will add it. So that's available right there. Okay, so right now I'm not gonna render this because I don't wanna waste your time. And I'm gonna use one of the videos I already have because I wanna show you the Wave video hosting part. All right, so here are my videos. And what I'm gonna do is to show you the hosting part is I'm gonna go to the player right here. And in this case, we can change how the player looks. For example, if I click on player, I'm gonna get all these options available. So for example, if my branding is not like turquoise, I can do it, for example, red, and it's gonna change the button, the play button, and the bottom part of it. I can choose autoplay, I can mute it, um, show last frame, thumbnail, or the loop, and show controls if I want to remove or keep. So for example, if I wanna remove logo, I can do that there. I can use full screen and just edit all of that, right? So I'm gonna save these changes. Next thing we're going to go is to the landing page. So right here on landing page, we can set the headline. So for example, check this video out. It's going to select that. And for example, we can set the body text. This video is about my tutorial, for example. You can set a call to action button. So for example, the call to action I said right here is get deal. It can be view video. So that's going to be view video. And I can set the link to where I want it to go. I can set the logo, I can set the layout. So for example, if I wanna choose a different type of layout, uh, in particular, I like this one, showing the video first, and then the information on the bottom. We can select themes if we want right here, and we can also add our Google tracking ID and our Facebook pixel tracking ID also. So that's shown right there. And we have the link for this. Now you can set a custom domain, so that means you can uh, point your DNS to a custom domain. They have to add it manually, so you just send an email and they will add it for you. Let me go into incognito mode and go into that link that I've created. So that link that I created is a landing page and it's hosted with them. So that means this is playing on their hosting. So you can send out the link, share it, and they will go right here and they get all the information. So you got the logo, text right here, and get deal. I didn't update it, that's why you're not seeing that updated information. I had to save it. But you guys get the point. That's the hosting part of it. It's pretty cool because it saves you time. It looks nice. You've got everything designed with the player, with the information you need, and just share it, which is cool. You have the analytics for it. You can also embed it on a site. So for example, if you want to embed this on your WordPress site, HTML site, you grab this right here. I'm in the business plan, so I have 200 embeds available. So um, be aware that that's going to depend on the plan that you're on. I can password protect it. Let me close this. Okay, I don't want to go through this. I can close it. I can password. Or I can email campaign and see the analytics for this video. So you have all this information available. Now, last but not least, the animatron that's also included in this three combo. Okay, so this is the animatron, and what you can do is create animation videos. So in this case, um, you can add animated backgrounds. So if I, if I hover over them, you can see they actually move. So if I drag in this and I click play, that's a background that's moving. So if I add this guy on the bike, right there, let's add this guy that's running right here, a little bit more over here, and let's go back to market. This guy is typing in the background. If I click on them, I'm gonna resize them to make them a little bit smaller so it actually looks more realistic. We could change the position so this guy's doing like a willy right there. And if I click play, that's how it shows. So if you have the right backgrounds that are available and the right characters, you can do something really quickly. You can add some text, you can edit. Now, something that I told you before, for example, on Wave Video Editor, is that you have the timeline. So each one, each thing that I add right here is actual timeline. So that's something that I wish I saw on Wave Video to make some editing. Now, something I saw on Amatron is that you can't edit the character itself. I've seen other animators where you select a character and you can make them wave, you can make them run, you can make them sit, and 
they do things. In this case, you have to, you have to actually select what he's doing right here to make him do something, right? So you got other characters available. You got the design. I don't think this is their strong point to, what do you call it? For them, the strong point would be the Wave Video Editor and the Wave Video Hosting. And this is just something extra that you have there in case you want to do some animation videos. But I guess it's pretty cool if you have it available. Well, there you go, guys. Those are the deals that I was talking about. It's pretty good. Like I said before, I got this plan, the $118 one, because I wanted the business plan. For me, what I want are the templates from Wave Video Editor and the video hosting because I can create my own landing page so I can share those links to someone. So if that's something that you're looking for or if the editor is just enough for you, then this is a good deal for you guys. But if you think that's not enough for you to make a decision to buy it, then I guess you should, you should skip it and look for other deals that might be even better. I have other deals and I still got this just in case you guys want to know. Well guys, my name is George, this is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.